Good evening. Welcome to this edition of the 411 Talk Soul Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Tonight's topic, we are going to talk about the operations of the HR department. HR is known as human resources. So in this video, I'm going to use the acronym HR or the full word HR interchangeably. So you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because HR and human resources are the same. Now, what I'm doing, I'm going back to a video I did as an overview of the Human Resources Department a couple of months ago. And what I did, I defined what HR is and the services that they provide. So what I'm going to do tonight is first, I'm going to start off by revisiting the definition of HR. Now, basically, HR is a department of an organization that deals with employee related issues. Now, HR operations include administrative services, recruitment, job analysis, and employee relationship management. Now, these practices are used to support day to day business operations. However, if you have a small business, you probably do not have an HR department because you are not big enough, but I guarantee that you will outsource all of your HR support or HR management issues. However, if you're a mid-sized to large company, you have an in-house HR. Very important because HR functions do help keep the business running. And the first operation I'm going to talk about is administration. So, the human resources function in any business of any size is responsible for payroll management, employee data maintenance, risk and compliance ma management. Now, there's a few things that were forgotten that I'm going to mention. Don't forget training and development, promotions, and you have Safety. Safety is a big issue. And you can include safety as part of risk management. Now, the good thing about HR is that they also provide recruitment. That's right. In HR, you have to sell the organization as well. Because HR, when I said it, deals with employee type issues well HR also works a lot with management believe it or not and I said this in a previous video HR is not a friend of any employee it deals more with management to make sure that management is complying with all the guidelines set by the federal government and I'm talking about labor issues but when you utilize recruitment Recruitment is very critical to running any type of organization successfully. It's an important duty to human resources to market, attract, and hire new talent. Now, the HR team ensures that a number of employees is adequate for smooth business operations. Now, if there are too many employees, the organization will have to spend its financial resources in an unproductive manner. Now, if there are too few employees, the organization will not be able to meet its day-to-day operational goals and this is where they seek to try to hire new people to fill those open positions also when you deal with HR they offer induction seminars or basic orientation to new employees new employees need to understand the policies and they need to understand the benefits and how this organization or the organization that they're currently working works. And that's the thing that I want to tell everybody. When you go and interview with HR for an interview, do some research on the organization. One thing that employees don't know is how the organization works. And the reason why I'm saying this is a key point is during an orientation, HR is going to try to tell you something about the company that they think you don't know. 
And or if you do know it, you can question it if it's not agreeable or understanding to your taste. So basically what recruitment does in the HR department also they have to explain the organizational policies and procedures. And not only do they explain them, you have to sign the policies and the procedures as well. And the reason why, in case something comes up, when there's disciplinary action, they will go back and refer to that paperwork that you just signed. So, moving on. Job analysis. Job analysis, of course, is one of the most important practices carried out by human resources. Job analysis is the process of finding out what a particular department wants from its employees. Now, HR examines job content, duties, and responsibilities given by the operational heads carefully and ensures that they're relevant to the real work that needs to be performed within the organization. So that means you have to have a process of hiring the right people and after hiring, you need to place the suitable employees in the right position. Now, when you do that, that results in employee motivation and optimal use of resources. Because, again, when you hire a new employee, you're spending money on that new employee. And you want to make sure you get the maximum work out of that employee because of the amount of resources that it takes to train that employee to become successful within an organization. And moving on, HR must have employee relationships. And that's known as employee relationship management. And what employee relationship management does, it refers to developing a positive work environment and main, maintaining and managing relationships between management employees. You must create a positive employee relationship because it's important since employee satisfaction directly affects the productivity of any organization. Now, the role of HR and employee relationship management is vital because it schedules programs that deal with training, performance review approval, and it also manages a hotline for employee situations, completes exit formalities, and handles disciplinary action, as well as terminations. And if you have any unions, HR must be responsible for dealing with grievance issues. Now, by acting upon standard policies and procedures, HR ensures proper business communication amongst employees and it carries out an efficient conflict management program. And at the end of the day, if you understand the function of what human resources does, you'll get an idea of why they have the policies and procedures in place for all employees. Now, some of us do not like HR, but once you read about what they do, there is an appreciation for HR. Now, don't get me wrong, in every organization, you don't have a good HR department. But when you do have a good HR department, you will know because of employee retention. And every employee must go through HR. HR is another one who utilizes drug testing, assessment testing. So there is a lot of work involved with the HR department that we don't even see. Your personal records, which are your employee records. HR also deals with those. Don't forget about benefits or compensation and promotions. Leave. Sick leave. Personal leave. That's also a part of HR. And of course, payroll and time. I mentioned that earlier in this video but now you have heard the video you should have a much better understanding of why businesses utilize 
a human resource department to help them carry out the day-to-day -day business operations for an effective and cohesive working environment and business structure. And that's it for this edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show for this evening, Thursday, January 12, 2017. You can tune into the 411 Talk Zone radio show every Monday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. Guest call in number is 215 383 5785. And if you like my videos, Please share and subscribe to the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show right here on YouTube so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now, on this channel, I don't engage in any of the debating or social or controversial issues or emotional issues. There are other channels who do that and do that quite well. Angry Man Channel. O'Shea Jackson, Ringo TV Raw. Go to their channels for that information, and they're going to provide you with the knowledge of all the social issues and debates. Also, I don't engage in any drama or unnecessary bickering. Because on this channel, I'm giving you the tools and education needed to help you survive in the real world by applying the methods that I teach. So on this channel, you are in the real world, but I keep it positive. Remember, knowledge is powerful. If you have a business or a topic that you would like for me to discuss on the YouTube channel, 401 Talks on Radio Show and Blog Talk Radio, please email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. If you have a comment, please leave it in the comment section under the video. But make sure that your comments are pithy, no bloviating, petty fogging, or filibustering, if you wish to opine. That's it for this video. Until next time, my name is Leon Jones. Remember, please be gentle and respectful to each other, and have a wonderful and blessed night. Good night.